Apostle Paul talked about apostasy, abandonment or renunciation of the religious belief. And we see that today in these times as well. We'll be reading from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. Are you all ready? Let's get started. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Ragini. I do upload faith-based videos twice a week. If you're one of those who loves hearing the word of God, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. That way you will get notified whenever we upload new videos every twice a week. So in today's video, we're doing Bible study from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. If you have your Bibles, please go ahead and open the book of Timothy. And before we read the Bible, we always want to know the context. So the author is Apostle Paul writing to Timothy and he's talking about the apostasy that is going to come in the later times. So I will read the verses and then we'll dig deep into the explanation. He says, This know also that in the later days perilous times or difficult times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, posters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy without natural affection, trust breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowing of the truth. Now as Janus and Jamres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. So we see over here Apostle Paul is talking to Timothy and he's explaining to him that be careful, turn away from these kinds of people who will be coming in the last time. He's also pointing out to the false teachers and as we read the context it says over here the last days begin with the birth of Christ and will culminate in Christ's return to the earth to set up his kingdom. So the last days started since Christ's birth until now. We're still living in the last days. Amen. The prediction of perilous times or difficult times indicate that apostasy will characterize the final days of the church age. Abandonment or renunciation of a religious or political belief. We see that and that's the meaning of apostasy. And it says over here, a form of godliness is mere religion without power. Religion without power because that's what we see in the Old Testament. The Pharisees and the Jews who were very religious. They knew the law. They used to go to pray to the synagogue. But they didn't have power. The power of God, the Holy Spirit was not working in them. So the power was not there. They were just religious, taught what to pray, how to pray. But the power was not there. The form of godliness is mere religion without power or spiritual life. Paul commends Timothy to turn away from these false teachers who prey upon silly women laden with sins, who are especially susceptible to false teachers, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, condemns not intense study, but some esoteric quest for the truth apart from God's word. This, who prey upon silly women, these false teachers who prey upon silly women, who are laden with sins, who are especially susceptible to false teachers, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, condemns not intense study, but some esoteric quest. I want you all to underline this word or write it down. Esoteric quest. This simply means difficult to penetrate, incomprehensible to one of ordinary understanding or knowledge, or having a secret or hidden mystery. And this simply means in today's world, this historic uh, knowledge or historicism is all about new age beliefs, Hinduism, Buddhism, um, all about self-consciousness and all these things. At that time, they had the same magical witchcraft issues going on. And that's why we see in the next verse, we have an example of Janus and Jamres, which stood Moses. So these so do these also resist the truth? Because Janus and Jamres were the Egyptian magicians during the time of Moses. And they were competing with Moses. 
with their magic and in these days we know that also esoteric knowledge is going on like women will literally believe in everything buddhism hinduism yoga different consciousness but not the word of god we clearly see that from this context and it says that ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth condemns not intense study but some esoteric quest this kind of other beliefs and other systems for peace and consciousness and i don't know what not new age beliefs rather than the word of god so paul warns timothy about such people false teachers end up marrying these women who lead them into all these things as well so it is not only these days we see that but even at that time they had these magicians doing those kind of things and believing in those fables and myths and now also we see it's happening so do these also resist the truth men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith they would believe in literally everything else but the word of truth or the word of god connection love self self everything is about self love and that's why we see all these characters uh, of people in the last or perilous times described in verse 3 verse 1 to 4 and it says that perilous or difficult times will come people will be lovers of themselves as self is we see this everything today is about self even at that time they were lovers of self they were boasters right and they were unholy disobedient to parents unthankful and the same thing we see it's getting even worse and we were warned through the word of god so anybody who believes in literally any new age beliefs or anything else apart from the word of god don't be confused because it's already there the book of genesis chapter 3 verse 8 to 11 when christ told adam and eve not to eat that fruit but the devil deceived them and they ate that fruit what happened next they knew that they were naked So that is what it's about self, self love, self is everything about me. It was since the beginning of the world. And now it's even getting worse. Silly woman simply means weak or unstable and goes by emotions rather than leaning in the, into the truth or the word of God. They lean into their own understanding as well as their own emotions. They'll follow every source and every path but the word of God rather than believing in the finished work of cross. So we see a lot of things from this verse today and I hope this was encouraging. We will continue reading more coming video, but if you have any questions feel free to comment down below. Overall guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then you guys take care. God bless you all. Always stay rooted in Christ. Bye.